Wait, wait, wait. Let's just stop. What's wrong? It's just no fun playing Daft Punk anymore. Not since they broke up. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Our neighbor's house is getting exterminated. They're exterminating our neighbors? Are we gonna be next? No, no. Our neighbors have cockroaches in their house, and they're trying to get rid of them. Well, what are we supposed to be on the lookout for? Yeah, it sounds like that's their problem. Well, a lot of time those bugs look for another home, so be on the lookout, alright? What do you think he meant by be on the lookout? Oh, you know what he meant. No, I don't. I believe he meant, let's go to the window. I don't see anything. What, are you just gonna stand there all day? Dad said to be on the lookout, so I intend to be on the lookout. <gasps> Addie, it sounded like you gasped in surprise. Cockroaches! I don't see any cockroaches. They're fast. They're out there. You missed them. Uh-huh. Julian, can those cockroaches get in the house? Probably. I don't know. Well, then I'm going to my room. Ah! Cockroach! What was that? Addie, a cockroach ran across my desk. I don't see it. You gotta believe me, it was huge! You didn't believe me when I said they were in the window, so I don't believe you now. <laughs> ah! More cockroaches! Where, where, where? They're all gone. Hmm, can't tell if you're just trying to prank me if you're really telling the truth. No, I am telling the truth. There were like three this time. But you said they couldn't get into the house. I never said that. Dad did say to be on the lookout for roaches. Maybe he'll know what to do. Oh no, Dad just texted. He said he went to the hardware store to get roach traps. Well, that's good. Problem solved. He says he thinks he left the door open. I guess you're just gonna have to close it then. Go ahead, Jillian. Go close that door. Oh no. You're coming with me. Ah! Cockroaches! Hey, Jillian. Hey, Jillian. Hey, Jillian. What? There's roaches out there. Really? What was your first clue? Oh, Jillian, what are we gonna do about them roaches? I was thinking we put on some boots and stomp them. Uh, P.E.T.I. will get pretty mad. P.E.T.I.? People for the ethical treatment of insects. That's a thing? Oh yeah, that's a thing. And believe me, you don't want to get stomp shamed. Well, what should we do? Nicely ask the cockroaches to leave? Well, once I saw a spider on my arm and I just went, maybe we should do that. You think a gentle breath is going to get rid of those cockroaches? Well, maybe if we went, I think if we hyperventilate too much, we'll just faint. Hmm, you're right. What we need is a device that moves a lot of air. I'm way ahead of you. Come on. All right, you cockroaches, prepare to get blown away. I see why you have the hairdryer, but why do I have a curling iron? Because we only have the one hairdryer. Come on. Ah, they're running press. Well, that went well. Well, it was your idea to just go. Yeah, I still think that would have worked. 
We have to use psychological warfare. Get into these roaches' minds. How do you propose we do that? Unless I'm mistaken, all roaches have a queen roach that they have to obey. I think you're thinking of bees. If they think I'm the queen roach, they'll have to leave. Wasn't that your nickname back in grade school? We agreed not to talk about that. Let's just go try this crazy idea. Alright, my royal subjects! I am your queen! Why are you wearing rabbit ears? They're supposed to be antennas and stop making me break character. Anyway, thou must depart! Ah, uh, they don't respect a monarchy! Well, Jillian, it almost worked. What do you mean, it almost worked? I think one of the roaches almost died laughing. I don't see what's funny about this. It's kinda hard to take you seriously with those rabbit ears. Huh? Oh yeah. I didn't say take off the crown. It says here that roaches don't have a queen. Yeah, I think we just figured that part out ourselves. Ooh, it says here that roaches do have some natural predators. I guess there's nothing unethical about pitting a natural predator against a cockroach. Hmm, you're not gonna like this though. I don't like these roaches much, so let's do it. Oh, you roaches are gonna get it this time. Meet your natural predator, birds. It worked. You sound surprised. Come on. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. Yeah, these chicken hats sure did the trick, and they're so stylish. And comfortable, too. Wait, is this a sponsored video? No, but it could be. Call us chicken hat industry. Wait, someone's coming. The hardware store was all out of roach traps, but they gave me this chicken costume they said would work. Oh no. What's wrong, Jillian? You look traumatized. Well, more traumatized than you usually do. I saw a movie. Ooh, I bet it was Ishtar. Was it Ishtar? No, it wasn't Ishtar. What is that? What? Oh, this is my new Barbie. Do you like her? It's... it's the same as the movie. It's... The Birds. All I know is this is collectible! Addy, get rid of that thing. Fine. Now I can relax. Well, I guess next you'll want me to get rid of this! Ah! 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 Oh, come on. It's just Edgar, our dead blackbird. Ah! Ah! Kill it. Kill it with fire! Whatever. I just don't see what's so scary about birds. Oh, well, you didn't see the movie. They peck at you with their beaks, and they scratch you, and they fly everywhere. Jillian, it was just a movie. It's not like that could ever happen around here. Did you hear that? It sounds like b -b 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 birds You mean birds. There's only one bee, Jillian. Just say the line you always say. Let's go to the window. Oh no, you go to the window. Fine, I'll go to the window. Oh boy. What? Is it the birds? It's the birds, isn't it? 
Uh, no, there's no birds out there. <laughs> it's a perfectly normal yard. Oh, thank goodness. For a minute I thought, wait a minute. You're just trying to protect me from the terrible truth, aren't you? Would that be so bad? <laughs> I guess I'll find out. <laughs> the b -b 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 birds, right? Don't panic, we'll just stay inside. That's what they did in the movie, and the birds just bashed through the windows, and came in through the chimney, and came in through the attic. This house is a fortress. It'll never happen here. Addy, they're in the house. Could just be a coincidence that we heard glass breaking. Windows sometimes just spontaneously break, don't they? Let's just get this over with. What should we do, Addy? The birds are here! Well, there must be some way of getting rid of the birds. What did they do in the movie? Did they use, like, shotguns or something? No, they just got pecked. And they died. Not a single shotgun in the entire movie. There's literally a thing called bird shot. Well, there wasn't anything like that in the movie. The birds mostly had the upper hand. Or wing. Wait, how can getting pecked by a bird kill you? Like, was it a slow infection? No, it happened really quickly. Oh, so it was like woodpeckers drilling holes in their heads, or eagles, or ostriches? No, it was just regular birds. Well, if they're just regular birds, I don't see how they can hurt us. Let's do what Mom always does when a bird lands on the roof. There's something she does when a bird lands on the roof? Yeah, don't you remember this? Get down from there, you pesky birds! Shoot! Shoot! Okay, let's try it. But I'm bringing these snakes just in case. Shoo, shoo, go away, you pesky birds! I brung my snakes! Rrrr! Rrrr! Shoo, shoo, go away, you pesky birds! Go away, pesky birds! Ah, the pesky birds aren't going away! I don't get it. The clapping hands method always works for Mom. I just don't get it. And they were completely unimpressed with these snakes. Thanks for nothing, guys. There must be something special about these birds. How are we gonna scare them away? We could tell them we want them to invest in a pyramid scheme. They're not pyramid schemes anymore, Jillian. They're multi-level marketing. You know what? There is a time-tested method that farmers have been using for decades. Is it a shotgun? I bet it's a shotgun. No. What could scare... A crow. A shotgun. Stop talking about shotguns! I mean, a scarecrow. How's a scarecrow gonna scare a crow? Oh yeah. My sister, the genius. Let's go scare us some crows. All right, you dumb birds. Start getting scared. Yeah, we're scarecrows. Why are you wearing a Pennywise mask? Because you took the only scarecrow mask, you scarecrow mask hog. All right, let's stop fighting. That's just what the birds would want. Yeah, let's scarecrow the heck out of these birds. Scary. Mm -hmm. Scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're not scared at all! Well, that didn't go very well. Yeah, it was a stupid idea. Hey, I think I remember Dad saying that birds don't like owls. They don't? Alright, well, where are you gonna get an owl? We can use this. It's an Halloween decoration. Wait a minute. You said birds don't like owls, but aren't owls birds too? They are. I thought they were more like cats. You know, aren't they called the cats of the sky? Wait a minute. We have an actual cat. 
We do? Oh yeah, that's right! What do you say, Paco? Do you want to scare off some birds for us? Jillian, you don't think the birds could hurt Paco, do you? Cats have been killing birds for millennia. One look at him, and those birds will just fly away. Alright, let's go. It's working! He's going right for those birds! Wait, are the birds supposed to be picking him up like that? And they're flying away with him. Hold on, Paco! And they just flew back. Without Paco. And now they're flying towards us. Ah! Paco's been catnapped! What should we do, Addy? Ah! One of them got in! Addy, help me! Ah! Haha, -ha, it's just a puppet. This isn't the time or place for pranks, Jillian. Wait a minute, is this all a prank? You mean, like, to teach you a lesson about not being afraid of birds enough? Yeah, is this a prank? No, but that's a great idea. Stop messing around, Jillian. They took Paco. This just got personal. You're right. It's time to break out the secret weapon. Wait, you mean to say we had a secret weapon this whole time? We could've used it before! We could've saved Paco! There's still time to save Paco. Jillian, is it a shotgun? No, come on. I see why you kept the secret, but how is this a weapon? It's all a mind game. All right, you stupid birds. If you don't get out of here, do you see what can happen to you? Yeah, you'll get roasted or forced into a life of indentured servitude. It worked! It actually worked! You seem kind of surprised by that. Hey, what's that? Be careful, Addy! Well, what do you know? A egg! Man, I guess we scared the egg out of them. Should we keep it? Hatch it? See if it grows into a killer bird? Let's just leave it there for now. Fine. Now what? Now nothing. It's over. I keep thinking we forgot about something. Eh, I'm sure it'll come to us. Paco! Oh yeah. Now that Paco's back, I want to dance. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Hark, I hear a bark. <laughs> Miska, stop it. I'm trying to sleep, Miska. <laughs> uh, this is part of owning a dog. Get used to it. <laughs> so tired. So tired. What's your problem? I believe I said, so tired. What do you mean? You usually wake up all bright and chipper. Wait, no, that's not you. I don't know who that is. Miska was howling all night and I couldn't get any sleep. What's that dog's problem? Why are you talking like the Burger King foot lettuce guy? I don't know, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Anyway, didn't Miska keep you awake? No. Actually, Miska was asleep in my room all night. I think I would have heard her howling. What? That's a plot twist. But where did the howling come from? Perhaps it was one of the many supernatural events that seemed to happen in our house on a weekly basis. Oh yeah, that is looking pretty likely. Anyway, where is that dog now? Last I saw her, she was in the living room taking a nap. Then I shall find her!
I'm looking for that doggy. I'm looking for that doggy. I'm looking for that doggy. <gasps> There's no doggy here. But who was doing the howling? Miska, is that you? Oh no, not the deep dark basement. Hey wait, the lights are on. How are we supposed to do a spooky video with all the lights on down here? Wait, I bet Miska turned them on, and that means she's downstairs. Miska, are you down here? Eh, this is way too well lit. I bet she's in the spooky dark part of the basement. Miska? M -m 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 Miska? Wait, why would she be down here? She's like, never down here. <gasps> oh no, it's some sort of not Miska dog! Ah! Ah! I was uh, and then there was <laughs> Oh hi Addy. Everything seems to be normal and okay with you. No, Jillian, my whittle brain is traumatized. Traumatized? That's serious. What happened? I couldn't find Miska in the living room, so I went down to the dark part of the basement, and there was some kind of dog there, but it wasn't Miska. Ooh, another dog. Was it a puppy? Jillian, you don't want any part of this dog. It looked evil. Now, Addy, there's no bad dogs, only bad owners. Anyway, I'm still worried about Miska. What if the other dog has her down there? Perhaps Miska's down there voluntarily. They might be playing a board game. Just come with me and take a look at this devil dog, or whatever it is. Yay! We're looking for the dog! We're looking for the dog! We're looking for the dog! That's not a dog. There's your devil dog, Addy. It was just Paco all along. No, that doesn't explain anything. It wasn't even the same room. Do you hear what you're saying? Yep. Everything's all wrapped up nice and neatly. Uh, it isn't, and Miska's still missing. That's Paco, a cat. Wait, Paco's not moving. Is he... dead? He's sleeping. Another problem solved. Let's just go to the basement so that other dog can scare us. Wait, why are the lights on? It totally kills the spooky effect. I know, right? Miska! 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 I don't think this is working. Perhaps we should go to the dark part of the basement. That seems like a good place for the evil dog to hide. That's literally where I told you I saw the evil dog before. Wait, is it a devil dog or an evil dog? Because I'm getting confused. It's pretty much the same. Come on. Are there any evil dogs hiding in the deep, dark basement? <laughs> What's wrong with you? This is supposed to be a scary scene, so act scared! Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing's happening. Is something supposed to happen at this point? Oh yeah, this is where the evil dog just jumped out. Come on, evil dog. Come on. Come on, evil dog. Come on. Come on, evil dog. Come on. Here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Psst, 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 psst. Yeah, it's looking pretty obvious that you made this whole thing up. 
What? No! Jelaine, you said it yourself. Something weird happens every week. How could you not believe me? Made the whole thing up. Oh, let's just go back upstairs. Julian, look! <laughs> ah, the devil dog! He's getting away! Let's get him! Dang it, I thought he'd just be waiting here for us. He must have gone back to our room. Julian, look! I better close the door or she'll run away. Oh, Miska, we were looking for you. We were worried. So, so worried. We were looking for you for hours, Miska. Simply hours. Yeah, even she doesn't believe that, Jillian. So we found Miska, and we've solved the mystery of the devil dog. No, we haven't. I literally saw the other dog. You did too. Oh, yeah. Well, what are we supposed to do? Everything will work itself out by the end of the video. This isn't a video, Jillian. This is real life. Well, we're in here. We have Miska. The door is closed. What could go wrong? The evil dog's still in the house, and Miska's so scared. Look at how she's trembling. I do have one concern. Do you think this evil dog is house trained? I don't know, Jillian. I'm not an expert on the house training of evil dogs. Let's ask Miska what she thinks. <coughs> Even though we're totally safe with the door closed, we better go check. Sounds like a plan. There he is, Addy! I see it! I finally see it! You saw it before at the top of the stairs. Oh yeah. Well, maybe he'll be a nice evil dog. <laughs> ah! He's not a nice evil dog! I haven't seen Miska this happy in years. It's like a grand adventure with an evil dog. So we didn't figure out whether he's housebroken or not, did we? Eh, Dad cleans up most of the accidents around here anyway. Jillian, that's it. We'll just call Dad. Where is he these days anyway? Well, you know, he's usually out running errands, taking a walk with Mom, anything that keeps him out of the house. You know, for plot purposes. Wait, he just texted. He's in the garage right now. Yay, we're saved. Oh wait, you don't think we should warn him about the evil dog, do you? Eh, he can take care of himself. Doors open, Dad. Just come right in. No, Jillian, that's the evil dog scratching at the door. At least I think. You're staring right down the barrel of a misco matic Okay, then. Oh, hey, girls. Ah, don't let Miska out! Too late now. Dad, there's an evil dog in the house. Or a devil dog. We haven't decided on what to call it. Evil dog? Oh, no! Wait, why are you talking simultaneously? It's kind of creepy. It's what we do when we're upset. Dad, you have to get Miska before that evil dog does. How'd that thing get in the house anyway? What, Miska? She's lived here for years. No, the evil dog. Evil. Oh, you know what? I bet you guys are talking about Princess Fluffykins. Hi, Princess Fluffykins. <coughs> ah, the evil, evil dog is named Princess Fluffykins. Oh, she's not an evil dog. I just thought Miska could use a companion. <coughs> Whew, that's a relief. Wait a minute. Just one question. Is Princess Fluffykin's house trained? Uh, no, she isn't. We need to work on that, Princess Fluffykins. Come on.
Now, Jillian, now you can say it. Say what? Everything's resolved now, and it's a happy little ending. How can you say that when Paco's dead? Once again, he's not dead, he's sleeping. Look, I'll wake him up. Wake up, Paco. <coughs> ah, the evil dog! It's just Paco. Eh, in a way, he is kind of an evil dog. <coughs> Is that a rat? Jillian, Jillian. Yes. There's rats in our room. Really? I was walking into the room, then I saw a rat behind the couch, and then a bunch of rats just jumped on me. Well, they're not on you now. I ran away from them. They're probably still back in our room. Addy, I don't see how rats could get into this house. Fine. Don't believe me. Just take a look for yourself. Okay. All right, rats, come out, come out, wherever you are. I told you, Addy, there aren't any. Rats! Addy, Addy! Oh, Addy, there's rats in our room. Really? Yeah, there must have been a dozen of them, maybe even a hundred. I counted about five. Well, I think we can both agree that one rat's too many. So what should we do? Well, Mommy's out shopping, but Daddy will know what to do. Come on! There he is! Oh, hi, girls. What are you doing? Oh, I'm pretending I'm in a Ferrari. Why are you wearing a squid hat? And a cape! Because when you own a Ferrari, you don't care what you look like. What's wrong? Daddy, there's rats in our room. Rats? Really? Why didn't you tell me? Be careful, Daddy. They're behind the couch and the table and they jumped on us. I'm gonna check it out. Girls, I don't see any. Maybe they win a... Rats! Jillian! Addy! Girls! Girl! Oh, your room's full of rats! You don't say. Family conference, now. So what do you guys think we should do about the rats? Can't we just call the exterminator? The last time they were here, they said they were never coming again. Why is that? He said something about clowns in the house. I didn't really understand. Anyway, any other options? We could pour acid on them. And I'm pretty sure the acid will leave a stain in the carpet. We could seal the whole house up and fill it with poison gas. Oh, they are having a sale on poison gas at Home Depot, but you know what, that stuff's really hard to get rid of. We could wave our arms around and shout at the rats. Are you trying to get rid of the rats or just annoy them? I wish Mommy was here. She'd know what to do. Yeah, it's a real shame that the rats had to eat her. The rats didn't eat her. She's out shopping. Yeah, she went to Walmart. Eh, rats eating you, shopping at Walmart. Pretty much the same thing. Well, anyway, your mother's not here. Um, I think I do have an idea. Don't cats eat rats? No, I think they eat mice. Weren't rats pretty much just big mice? No, I'm pretty sure rats are in the deer family. No, they're not. Well, what about those rats you see with antlers? When are you seeing rats with antlers? Walmart. No, rats aren't related to deer and they don't have antlers. Geez, what's his problem? So you were saying something about a cat? Yeah, I was thinking we could get our cat Paco to chase the rats out of here. I don't know if he's gonna like that. What are you talking about? Isn't it like every cat's dream to like chase the rats out of the house and be the big hero? He's like 17 years old and I'm worried he'll get hurt. What? Nah, he'll be fine. I've seen him take down all kinds of animals. He'll be good. Let's go get him. Paco, get out of my Ferrari! Aw, he's wearing the cape and everything! Come on, Paco. Come on, buddy. This guy's gonna get rid of those rats. You ready, buddy? Come on. Okay, Paco. Now the rats are back there. Okay? So I'm gonna need you to go get those rats. You ready? Here, I'll take off your cape. I think it's getting in your way. There you go, you ready? Go get those rats, go! 
Go! Go get them! They're right back there! They're behind the couch! Go, Paco! Can't you smell the rats? This isn't working, guys. Come on. Plan B. Well, that didn't work out very well. So what's plan B? Okay, so for whatever reason, Paco wasn't with the program, but we do have another pet. You mean Miska? This little ball of fluff wouldn't hurt anything. You think a dog could kill those rats? Oh, sure. Didn't you ever hear of a rat terrier? Come here, Miska! Do you really need the cape? Yeah, she needs the cape. Don't you know, like, rat hunting, half of it is fashion? Okay, come on. Come on, Miska. girls. All right. Now, Miska, the rats are right back there. Okay. Now, we got your cape here. So, all you have to do is go back there and grab those rats and kill them. Okay. Ready? Go. Go. Yeah. She... Where'd she go? Uh, we're going to have to go to plan C. Come on. So, that worked really well. So what's plan C? Okay, well, our cat and our dog were obviously not interested in the rats. But the rats, they're still afraid of cats and dogs. Last time I checked. And I think, what would they be even more afraid of? A really big cat and a really big dog. So you know what I'm thinking? Oh, no. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. Oh, yeah. We're going to dress up like giant cats and dogs. Why couldn't I have been born into a normal family? Can I be this one? Okay, rats. We know you're in here. We know you're in here, rats. Come on. Come on out. Go to your hiding place. We know you're in here, rats. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? Look at this. Candy wrappers. That's what the rats have been getting, your Halloween candy, and it's all gone now, so I'm guessing the rats are gone too. The rats ate all of our candy? Well, I guess Halloween's officially over. Well, wherever those rats are, they're really gonna be sugared up. I bet they're dancing right now. Speaking of which, can we dance right now? Yeah, I feel like dancing. All right, but if we're gonna dance, I'm gonna wear my mask, because I'm not a very good dancer. Come on. So Paco, how you doing? Ah! Roaches! Wait a minute. I thought this video had something to do with a praying mantis. Uh, just roll with it for now. It'll make sense later. Oh, okay. Ah! Roaches! Wait, I thought this video was about some sort of praying mantis. Uh, just roll with it for now. It'll make sense later. Okay. Ah! Roaches! Julian, the roaches are back! I know, I saw them too. I thought the chicken chased them away the last time. What are you doing? Oh, I thought we were going to put a flashback scene there. Well, I guess the chicken didn't chase them all the way. They're persistent little buggers. Yeah, and even the chicken can't be in all places at once, but what should we do? If the chicken is the natural enemy of the cockroach, maybe there's another natural enemy we can exploit. Wait, insects are from nature? I thought they were like little robots. What? No, insects are from nature. So what we need is a nature expert.
A nature expert, eh? Oh, how about Farmer Bob? Farmer Bob? I haven't heard that name since June of 2018. Wow, has it really been almost three years? Anyway, he'll know what to do. Farmer Bob, help us! What seems to be the problem? The cockroaches are back. Yeah, and we're looking for a natural enemy to take care of those bugs. Oh, well, have you tried the chicken? We did that last time, but we haven't seen him in a while. Is there some other animal who eats a lot of insects? Yeah, a praying mantis can eat a ton of bugs, but I haven't seen many in these parts in a long time. Unless... Unless what? There's talk of a creature designed with the sole purpose of exterminating insects. The Humantis. The Humantis? What's that? Half man, half mantis. The perfect combination of predatory instincts and intelligence. How does one obtain the services of such a creature? Legend has it, you stare into a mirror and say the name Humantis three times to summon him. He'll take care of your cockroach problem, but at a terrible price. Okay, good luck. Wow, that was quite a story, but I don't think we'll have to resort to that, right, Addy? Addy? I'm right here. I'm holding a mirror. Addy, don't you dare! Too late. Humantis, Humantis, Humantis. Addy, no! It didn't work. What a ripoff. Addy, what did you do? Duh, I summoned the Humantis. Well, now what do we do? Let's go to the window. Ah, the Humantis! Addy, why did you summon that horrible monster? Uh, aren't you forgetting we have a little bit of a cockroach problem? It's not that bad. Jillian, you're literally covered in cockroaches. Ah, cockroaches! So are you willing to give the Humantis a chance? Addy, did you see the size of that thing? I think I'll take my chances with a few little cockroaches. But I summoned him. He'll be so disappointed if there's nothing to eat. Wait, you don't think he'll try to eat us, do you? I don't know. I'm not the Humantis expert. That was Farmer Bob. Farmer Bob, help us! Oh great, the Humantis ate Farmer Bob. Okay, now that the Humantis is here, maybe the cockroaches will just be so scared that they'll run off to, I don't know, Cleveland? Wait, Humantis is half man. We'll just explain to him that his services are no longer required. He's gone! There! Problem solved! The Humantis is gone, and the cockroaches are already on their way to Cleveland! Addy, did you hear that? Farmer Bob, is that you? Let's just get this over with. Jillian, look! What do you know? It worked! He really is eating those cockroaches. Go, Humantis, go! Addy, what's he gonna do when he runs out of roaches? <coughs> Humantis isn't known for his table manners. Okay, Humantis, thank you for solving our roach problem. You can just go now. Addy, he's not leaving. You wouldn't just kick a dinner guest out right after he eats. What are we supposed to do? Offer him a nightcap? Ah! He wants dessert! What should we do, Addy? What do we know about praying mantises? Manti? Well, we know that they're mantises and that they're praying. Wait, is that praying with an A or praying with an E? What difference does that make? 
Well, if it's praying with an A, we can just tell them that we're secular humanists or something. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Well, what's your big idea then? The way I see it, this guy's a bug, so all we need is some bug spray. Got it. That's not bug spray, that's my hairspray. Have you smelled this stuff? Pretty much the same thing. I guess it's worth a try. Alright, Mantis. We've tried being polite about this, but you've given us no other choice. Yeah, Humantis. It's time for you to spray your prayers. Spray your prayers? That was so bad. Keep spraying, Addy! I think it's working! Humantis carries a face mask? Can't argue with science. Ah! He's not social distancing! Thanks for nothing, hairspray. It would have worked if you used actual bug spray. And if he didn't have that mask. Any other ideas? No, I'm fresh out. I say we just succumb to the inevitable and let ourselves be eaten by a half-man, half-mantis. Addy, no! It won't be so bad, I hear they bite your head off first. Addy, that's it! Wait, I wasn't being serious. Everyone knows praying mantis females bite the heads off of males. They do? Everyone knows this? It's on the internet, look it up. Anyway, if we can summon a female humantis, this problem will take care of itself. A female humantis? You mean... Womantis. Addy, do your thing. Womantis, womantis, womantis. This better work. Julian, look! You know, I feel a little sorry for the guy. After all, we're the ones who called him here. Yeah, at least he died on a full stomach. Yeah, and those roaches are gone for good now, too. I love a happy ending. Don't you, Paco! Why are we just waiting here like this? Don't worry, something always happens eventually. Wait, did you hear that? I did. Here we go again. I suppose you're all wondering how I got into this situation. Hey, I'm in this story too. Of course you are, honey. It all started one day last spring. Wait, what's happening? This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Ah! Siren Head! This is only a test. Ah! Megahorn! Megaphone! Wait, why are we dressed the same every day? It's dressed the same every day of the week week. <laughs> ah, antler head! That's a deer, Jillian. <laughs> ah, shell back! And that's a turtle. Oh, that's just a stray cat. No, Jillian, that's Cartoon Cat. We need to stop looking out this window. Good idea. Ah, 
So what should we do about the recent influx of Trevor Henderson creatures? Eh, ride out the trend until the audience gets tired. Remember the fidget spinner craze? Oh uh, yeah, good times, good times. But back to your question, you aren't still ordering Trevor Henderson characters through that app, are you? No? Jillian, you can't just keep ordering new monsters to get rid of old monsters. Have you ever read I Met an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly? That's where I got the idea from. It ends with the old lady dying because she ate a horse. But you have to admit, she got rid of that fly, didn't she? Anyway, no more ordering creatures. Jillian, what are you doing? I just ordered a creature that's gonna solve all our problems. Jillian, no! Oh! You mean Jillian, yeah. Have you ever heard of Cartoon Mouse? Cartoon Mouse? How's a mouse supposed to help us? It says here that Cartoon Mouse works for Cartoon Cat, but it's against his will. So you're hiring a disgruntled worker? Think of it as an inside job. There's been a few cases where he helps people and thwarts the cat's plans. And this mouse can get rid of all the other creatures too? I don't know. Well, this just sounds like a wonderful plan. When does that mouse get here? The tracking device says he's out in the yard right now. Well, you know what I'm gonna say. Let us get off of this couch and look out of the door? No. I would say, let's go to the window! There he is! Oh, he's so cute! Wait, the other creatures all left. See? It worked. Well, I guess we'll just go back to the couch then. Well, Jillian, I have to admit, you were right on this one. Everything worked out. Yeah. And much earlier than normal. <laughs> oh, great. Something's out in the hallway now. I knew this was too good to be true. Not so fast. It could be that pizza I ordered. With our luck, there'll be a giant pizza standing in the hallway. Scary and delicious. <coughs> Jillian, why is Cartoon Mouse standing in our hallway? Maybe he just needs some positive feedback. You better rate this mouse four stars, or whatever it is on your weird app. Great job, Cartoon Mouse. I just gave you a four-star review. He's not leaving, Jillian. This is getting kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. We're gonna go now. Jillian, I swear if this mouse doesn't leave our house soon, I'm gonna be really cross. Oh no! Nobody wants that! You just have this habit of making small problems worse. I would hardly call a siren head in our backyard a small problem. And where's that pizza? I'm starting to think you made that all up. That better be the pizza. Yeah, it's not gonna be the pizza. I totally made that story up. Go away, you stupid mouse! Addy, don't call him stupid, after all he's done for us. At this point, he's a home invader, and shall be treated as such. You mean you're gonna become even more cross? Oh, you haven't seen the half of it. All right, you mouse! You're in for it now! Jillian, what is that? <laughs> yeah, the thing about Cartoon Mouse is that when he's provoked, he turns evil. Ah! Evil Cartoon Mouse! Jillian, I want you to open that app and unorder the Evil Cartoon Mouse. It says here, no returns, no refunds, and if the mouse turns evil, there's a $100 restocking fee. Great. So how do we get rid of the mouse? I have a plan. Oh great, a Jillian plan. This will work out just fine. Glad you're on board with this.
Jillian, I can't help but think this box looks awfully familiar. This is the box that the Krampus arrived in. Oh great, so let me guess, you're gonna try and trap the mouse? Yup, and he won't suspect a thing, because I made this sign! Yeah, that still says not a tarp, not trap. Huh? Dang it! So, how are you getting him into this box anyway? Cheese! Huh? Huh? Julian, that's not cheese, that's individually wrapped slices of American cheese food. Eh, he's just a dumb mouse, he'll never notice the difference. So how does this work anyway? So the box is in the hall, and then the mouse gets into the box, and then we ship him off to, I don't know, Cleveland? Wait, wait, back up. The box is in the hall? Yeah, the box is in the... Uh-oh. Ah! He's after the processed cheese food! Well, that didn't work, but I'm hungry. Can I have the cheese? Wait, are you eating the cheese? No? Alright, Jillian, we're not gonna use your ideas anymore. Why not? Because your ideas suck. That hurt. The way I see it is that this mouse already has one natural enemy. Andrew Lloyd Webber? Close. Cats. Cats? Oh, cats! But where are we going to get a cat on such short notice? Uh, Jillian, look what's sitting on the couch right now. Ah, cartoon cat got in the house! It's our cat, Paco. Huh? Oh, yeah! There he is, nature's best mouse-killing machine. We just set him loose, and that mouse will go right back to wherever he came from. It's worth a try. Are you sure this is a good idea, Addy? He's 20 years old, he can take care of himself. Go get him, Paco! Get him, Paco, get him! Take that mouse down, come on! Addy, this doesn't seem to be working out. Don't worry, Paco's just lulling him into a false sense of security. The natural order of predation has been disrupted! So Paco's going to be okay, right? Um, sure, yeah. He'll be fine. So I can't help but notice that the evil mouse is still here. The problem is a problem of proportion. We sent a tiny-sized cat to battle a giant-sized mouse. Ooh, ooh! So we need to shrink the mouse, and then Paco will eat it! Uh, I don't think the Paco option's on the table anymore. So we need to find a bigger cat. To the zoo! Mmm, I have another idea. To the other idea! Oh, I'm a giant cat! I love eating giant mouses! I too am a giant cat. Wait, why am I a dog? I could only find one cat mask. You're gonna have to improvise. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. It worked. It worked, Join. You can take your mask off now. What? Aw, I liked wearing it. Just take off the mask, Jillian. You're creeping me out. Well, I gotta admit, Addy, your idea worked. Right, and from now on, you're gonna stop ordering new creatures, okay? Right, I'm just gonna order a fresh pizza and... Oopsie. Oopsie? Oopsie? What does that mean? It means that I just definitely ordered a pizza and not another creature at all. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. For a second, I thought you ordered another creature and not a pizza. Oh, it's- it's a pizza, all right. Definitely a pizza. Cartoon dog, you better have a pizza on you. Wait, didn't we already do a cartoon dog video? No, but we could if this video gets enough views. <laughs> ah! Cartoon
Merchie and John! Merchie, merchie, merch, merch, merchie, merchie, merch, merchie, merchie, merch, merch, merchie, merchie, merch. Hey! If you like Dilly Natty videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone. Just click on the links below and it'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to jillianandnatty.com. It's all good. If you like this video, be sure, sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels, which so Jillian and Addy, our main channel, and Jillian and Addy Life, our vlogging channel. They're a lot of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos like this one. And remember, stay scared. Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Hey, no fighting.